It's a cool overcast day that greets us for this final round of the Rolex Series year. At the start of each racing season, we wish for the title to be decided in the last race, and that's exactly what we've got here today at the Grand Am Championship Weekend at Lime Rock Park, presented by BMW. Oh, the 70's in trouble again. Chris just told us about that Sylvain Tremblay went off track this morning in qualifying and this Rolex 24 winning driver and team in trouble before this season finale even gets going. That's incredible. Here is just the tail end of what happened to Sylvain Tremblay. Scrubbing his tires and it was on cold tires. It was off the left hander, the only left hander on the racetrack and sometimes the cars are biased to go to the right as a result. And the car got loose, snapped into a spin. Go, go, go. Leader controls the pace, Westbrook is away. He's got two it right behind. John Fogarty, Max Angelelli diving to the inside. Alex Popov's been very aggressive this year. He's had some great performances, and he's really Ryan Diaz's wingman here today. Speaking of that, John Edwards you just saw in the GT lead with the Camaro, looking pretty good early in this race too, over John Johannes van Overbeck. So it's fairly spacious up front. Look at this, Billy Johnson into John Pugh. Around goes the Mike Shank Ford. Wow, and we heard that that might. Uh, that's not the first time they've oh, touched. Keep going. Keep turning, 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 turning. There was a report earlier on of those two making contact too. Side by side, so all, all is well here. Ah, they just never broke apart, did they? Yeah, it's just got to give each other room if you're going to go side by side through there. And let's take a look here. Which of John kind of just, yeah, it's hard to say whether John turned or whether just Billy's nose was into the side of him and turned him at the same time. Ready to go for Wayne Taylor Racing in that SunTrust Corvette. Let's go. That's the call from Simon Hodgson, the team manager. Green, let's go. Let's get after it. Billy Johnson pulls to the inside of the nine car of Darren Law. And carbon fiber flew back there, Calvin. They made contact somewhere in the middle there. Yeah, and it was off plane. a prototype. Yeah. yeah, there's a dive plane went flying there on the front there straight it is. away. Third place car. And Edwards still leading in GT. You see right there with Johannes von Overbeck right behind him in the Ferrari. It's a really tricky part of the racetrack with take a look there oh yeah go. it's already whoa, happened whoa. it was the wheel and corvette Ooh, boris said boris did not make contact with the wall i don't think i think he got it stopped yeah look up ahead von molka spins all by himself and andrew davis and bill orblin had nowhere to go yeah just uh dion was pushing it coming through the exit the s is there loses the tail end of the audi andrew davis was right on his tail and bill orblin literally had nowhere to go the road was blocked that driver chain's executed, pop off out of that car. Dial in, let's go racing at Lime Rock. And let's see if this 90 car can come alive. We saw him take off from the initial green flag of this race, but on the restarts, didn't have the same pace, struggling in traffic. Can Westy get the hammer down once again? He really slowed that start up, guys. Let's go to GT. Van Overbeck has got a rear view mirror full of Andy Lally and that Magnus Porsche. And then we go back to Robin Liddell's got a head of Dane Cameron. Some smoke there yeah, coming off the too. Magnus Racing Porsche. I'm not sure if it's just tire rub as it hits the compression in the downhill, but definitely something puffed up there. Oh, 70 boy. in trouble again. Jonathan Bomarito behind the wheel this time. The chicane at the uphill between Billy Johnson in the seven and Maymo Whoa. Rojas in the 01. Whoa, Billy wow. Johnson runs him all the way wow. to the grass. That is crazy. That's what I talked about at the beginning of the show and what the intent of the seven might be. This will tell us more. Oh, a fellow what a Mazda. Hit. Not a good day for the RX-8s in the field. Why can't you lose a door on a 100-degree day you know, yeah. instead of a 40 to 50-degree day? It looks pretty cool, but it's not going to be aero effective, that's for certain. There in the race leading car is in. Richard Westbrook brings the spirit of Daytona Corvette in. It's been a really good day. Go, 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 see go. Westbrook behind the wall. His day is done. His job is done. Quick update on GT. We haven't told you about it in a while. Andy Lally continues to lead over Robin Liddell. Charles Espenlaub still has the Dempsey Mazda in third place. Looks like fuel car. only. Yeah, fuel only pit stop here. I think I'd have done left sides at least. I mean, with the right hand nature of this racetrack, just a splash of fuel. Away he goes. At the front, it's Ricky Taylor's Wow Barbosa. Question mark is do these guys have enough fuel to go to the end? Is it going to be three in a row for Wayne Taylor's SunTrust team? Let's find out. There's the reason for the caution. It was off to the side of the track a little earlier, but somebody's clipped it and brought it back out onto the racing line. Green flag flies here at Lime Rock Park. Final 25 minutes. Has Ricky Taylor got enough to hold off fellow Corvette drivers, Antonio Garcia and Alex Gurney? His Look at GT, this. Andy Lally, has been out there for 46 laps since his last pit stop. He's not going to make the next 21 and a half minutes. 
You heard John Potter say, we're really rolling the dice. That's all Garcia's the leaders right there. That's first and second in both classes running right there. Indeed it is. And again, Ricky Taylor gets some assistance from GT traffic. And he holds that margin with just two minutes to go. Here comes the delta to the inside of Andy Lally for the lead. He gets him. Cleanly, I think easily. he may be out of fuel, guys. He didn't have the pace down the straightaway there. Is Lally out of fuel? I think he is. He's stumbling. Here comes the Audi. This is now a battle between the Audi and the Ferrari for second place in this race because Lally is out of fuel. Can he clear him before the downhill? No, he doesn't. Yes, he goes yes. for it. He gets it. And Ricky Taylor, Max Angelelli, the three-peat, the oh, hat-trick. Oh, They're going to finish the 2012 season in the best possible yeah, way. Three in a row with Lyra oh, Park for Wayne Taylor's man. That was excellent stuff, and what a day it is for Chevrolet at Lime Rock Park. Robin Liddell takes the Stevenson Camaro right to the top. He and John Edwards successful again. And this man here, Scott Pruitt, in his early 50s, American racing legend, will be a five-time Daytona prototype champion. He's writing Grand Am history all by himself. Great, nice job. Nice job all year, guys. Great job, guys. Great job. Pruitt awesome. and Rojas. Champions on, again, three in a row for Chips Boys. We've had so many great pairs in this series, but no pair as dangerous as these two. Four championships, now three in a row. Roa has Pruitt, there they are, by 12 over Ryan D. Allen. Darren Law did enough to secure that third place. Let's switch gears, let's talk GT. Well, it was already over after the previous round of me, Lassentado, Jeff Siegel clinched that, but Rob Nadella, great performance with the win. He consolidates second in the championship, Paul Dallalan will be happy to be third in the points.